Hello everyone and welcome back to another month of mail here on Steam Vlog. Today we are covering September 2015 and we actually only had one letter sent in and that letter requested not to be read on video. So there are no letters this month actually. So we're going to dive straight into the packages for this month and the first package is from... Who's the package from? Okay, it's from Poland, yeah, and it's a Polish name, and I'm gonna try not to completely mess this up, but it's Mateusz. It's pretty good, Mateusz. So. Usz maybe. It's, it's um Polish for Matthew. Yeah, M A T E, M A T E U S Z. So it's uh, not a not something I'm completely familiar with. So we just opened it up, and inside was a box for Mega Man Six Battle Network, uh, Psy Beast. Grigar, which I, I'm not familiar with the Mega Man series, so I'm not really sure. And then it says that there's a leather inside, so let's open this up and pull out this leather. And the leather says, Hello, Stephen Mao. My name is uh, Mateusz, which there he writes a pronunciation, and it, I think we got it pretty well. Mateusz, and I live in Poland. I really like both of your channels, especially Stephen Vlog. It's really interesting to see everyday life of people in America and to compare it to my own. Um, I'm sending this letter in September, so knowing how the how the post works, I should probably wish you a Merry Christmas. Uh, my GBA recently broke, so I figured I can send you this game since my, uh, you don't own it yet. I hope nobody will have sent it by the time you receive this mail. Anyway, all the best wishes to the both of you. I don't know how to end a letter, <laughs> Mateusz, or um, Mon... Mongoliski Mongol on YouTube? I'm having a hard time reading that. I'm bad with cursive anyway, so if you combine cursive and Polish, I am I start to do really, really badly. But, um, Mateusz, thank you. Uh, we don't get very many leathers or packages from Poland. I can think of maybe one or two other circumstances where we did, uh, but Mega Man... Mega Man 6. The uh, the Battle Network games have always been really popular with people. Like people have really uh, really enjoyed them, but I've actually never played them. But you know, I wonder if Thomas has ever played them. Probably. Because Thomas is a big Mega Man fan, but there are so many of them. But I, I guess it's like a, like a continuation in the story or something. Anyway, uh, Matush, thank you so much for sending this, and uh, it's also really great to get letters and mail from from Poland since that doesn't happen very often. Our next package is from Arky in Newburgh, New York. And Arky sends what? Oh, hey. <laughs> Mal reached in and pulled out Resident and Evil 2. Unless there's a letter inside, there's nothing else in the envelope. There's probably a letter inside, right? No? Really? Okay, there's no leather inside. Um, but still, thank you. Uh, Resident Evil 2 is a fantastic game. And uh, I don't believe we had it for GameCube. It's This was a game that was released on a lot of different systems. Like a, a lot of them. Um, but I don't think we had it on GameCube. GameCube actually may be the definitive way to play this. I'm not sure. Maybe not anymore because I think they just recently re-released or are talking about re-releasing this for like next-gen systems or something. But um, I remember at the time this game was out on like PS1 and... They brought it to N64, which was crazy, and then I think maybe this, maybe for GameCube was the definitive version, I don't know. Resident Evil fans, you're gonna have to inform me on that one, because I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, Arky, thanks for sending in a classic. Our next package comes from what looks to be, um, some company? Yeah, it's a company called You Name the Game, so I'm assuming that... Oh, here you are. Here we go. There's a there's a gift note. By the way, if you ever send anything from a company or, like, Amazon or something, do be sure Try and to give us a gift note. Yes, because otherwise we have no idea. Uh, this is a gift from Jacqueline. Dear Stephen and Mallory, looking through your games collection, I noticed you didn't have this listed in your Genesis games. I have uh, some fond memories of it, and I hope y'all will enjoy. Love, Firestar 1992. Oh my God, it's actually sealed. <laughs> this is a sealed copy of Animaniacs. I remember this game. I, I was this game also on Super Nintendo. I think it was, and if it wasn't, then I must have played the Genesis version, but I remember playing this game. Man. Also, that's super cool. Um, I loved Animaniacs. I, yeah, I, I was a huge fan of the show, and uh, that's probably why I enjoyed the game. Um, I may have seen like every episode of Ani Animaniacs. I used to watch it in the evening with my dad, and our favorite, um, our favorite segment was 
Well, it was a tie between the Wheel of Morality and Good, good idea, idea, Bad, bad idea. idea. Such a good, there's a compilation video on YouTube for both of those things. Of all of the Good, good Idea and Bad Idea and all of the Wheel of Morality, and they're both like fantastic. So Jacqueline, uh, thank you so much. This is awesome. I think that we should definitely do uh, First 20 or something of Animaniacs because it's it's a great show, and I believe the uh, I believe the game was actually really good too. So, thanks for that. Our last package comes from Matthew in Ontario. And what did Matthew send us? Papers. Papers, please. Uh, so we got a a pretty long letter here, and then also, uh, let's play. Uh, Novara Autism presents Extra Life Benefiting McMaster Children's Hospital Children's Network. Um, oh yes, this is actually uh, this is actually one of our new patrons. Okay. Um, and I, I believe he had said something on um, Patreon about sending us something. So this is his letter. So let's give this a read. To Stephen and Mallory, I am a recent subscriber to your vlog, and ever since I first found your channel, I've been impressed by your dedication to each other and to the vlog, and I've been thoroughly entertained by the two of you and, m and watch it much more than the Stephen Place channel. But that's just me. Since the summer started, I began to watch your vlogs from the very beginning, and to the point I am writing this letter, I've reached March 2012. Knowing that the two of you are also avid video game collectors, I've taken the liberty of sending you a couple of additions to your collection. The game I'm sending to you is two versions of my all-time favorite gen uh, game for the 7 gen seven generation consoles. When uh, I acquired my PS3 in 2008, this was the first RPG that I got, and I have enjoyed it ever since and wanted to share this game with you because you uh, and because you played To the Moon, I know that you will enjoy this game too. Eternal Sonata has the best storyline I have ever seen in any video game, as it has a very relatable story on so many levels. Since discovering your vlog and how much the two of you love each other, it made me think of the love story in this game. And now I thought that this game would be perfect to give to both of you. One of the reasons you'll both enjoy this game is that it's an RPG with a co-op system option that is similar to the Super Nintendo RPG Secret of Mana in the sense that three people can play it together. So you would be able to have other people join in on the game, whether it's your family, friends, or anyone else you can think of. While the two versions of the game have many similarities, they also have different, uh, many differences. For instance, the PS3 version features, without spoiling anything, uh, has an additional main story dungeon, more playable characters, and a reworked cutscene dialogue for most of the characters. Since doing my Let's Play of this game in 20. 14 has become one of my most popular Let's Plays and encouraged by success, I've wanted to bring greater awareness to the game. This has included bringing it to the attention of your friends, Emile Massey, which in, uh, included giving the latter a PS3 copy, as well as other members of the Runaway Guys and Lucagen, and I look forward to uh, continue creating further awareness of the game by bringing it to the attention of others who I believe would appreciate it, it, it as well. At the very least, I believe that this is a game worthy of being featured in your first 20 series, but the two of you will have a lot of enjoyment with the game for much longer than 20 minutes. As you can tell by reading this letter, this is a game that is very near and dear to my heart, and I do believe that this is an RPG that deserves more attention, as it is truly an underappreciated game. I hope that the two of you will get the chance to play it someday, and then it will bring you as much happiness as it has brought me. Keep up the good work on both your channels, and of course in the love that you have given to each other, now and in the years to come, and let's meet at a con in Canada someday, shall we? Respectfully yours, Matthew, uh, let's plays at Novara Autism. Matthew, thank you. And of course, should be noticed that we uh, note noted that we have received Eternal Sonata both on the 360 and also on the PS3. So there are some differences, which is interesting. And he um, pointed out uh, some of the stuff. Um, it is. It's always a little weird whenever the, uh, a game is released on, you know, multi-platform, and there's there's some key differences. But that's cool, and it's really nice of you to send us both copies of the game. I've heard good things about Eternal Sonata. Um, in fact, I remember being back in uh, in college, and and hearing about it, and. Um, I think Alex was the one who really wanted to, to, to get it and play it, but he ended up going through a different RPG at that time. I can't remember the name of the RPG he went through, but it was a 360 RPG, because he almost, I think he almost got Eternal Sonata and worked through that instead, so. Um, Matthew, thank you so much for sending these in, and I totally respect uh, you bringing awareness to a game series, because I feel like a lot of times Mal and I do that ourselves with the Mother series, so. Power to you and power to Eternal Sonata. Uh, for everyone that sent in something this month, thank you guys so much. If you're watching right now and you'd like to send something in, you can. Go down to the description box below. There's a link that'll tell you where to send stuff in and how to do it and all the other rules and regulations that come with that. And um, we'll see you guys soon. For October. For October. It's coming. And maybe by the time you guys get this, there'll still be November. But at the at, as of this recording, the only other mail month to do is October. So we're almost caught up. It's been a journey, but we're almost caught up.